FNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. And we got a little bit of a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. Dow's up 110. S&P's up about 7. 54 points for the NASDAQ. Russell's down 3. Semis are up 22. Tranny's up 112. New York Stock Exchange down just slightly. Gold's up 3 bucks with silver down 1 penny. Light to read crude is off $2.36. Natural gas off a nickel. 30-year treasury printed out at 119.08. That's up 8 pips. Let's take a look at what this all what all this means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side what do you know about it well the es mini is trading into its swing point from way back here in july july of 2023 that is between the range of 46.6250 47.3850 as long as price remains above 46.6250 47.3850 becomes the price target especially with that spot volatility trading the way that it is not just below its 50-day exponential moving average but below yesterday's low below the day before's low the nq yesterday negated it TD nine count top. So it has no topping signal that's in place. On the ES mini, you do have wave number seven, that's letter G, but that doesn't get confirmed until there's a lower high. We don't have that same pattern inside of the NQ. The NQ, um, where's that targeting? We've got to actually put on a different, uh, got to put on the continuous contract and go back to where that is targeting. We'll take a look at that during the Trader's Edge show. If we look at the U.S. dollar index, so here's the good news and the bad news. The bad news for the U.S. dollar index, depending on whether you want to move higher or lower, as you can see, price had been above the top of its bear structure daily profile for more than two consecutive sessions. And today's pullback and retracement found support where a counter trend move, in this case here, counter trend move to the downside, would have found support. And that's at the center of the profile at 103.02. The actual low today, 103.03. You gotta love that. Now, what the US dollar index needs to do is close above 103.80 to trigger an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. The US dollar index is gonna head higher. Well, likely we're gonna see gold move lower. Maybe it's gonna form a TD9 count bottom. It could be doing that, I think, um, Thursday, Friday, Monday, something along those lines. Silver is uh, got no support that I can see, at least on the daily time frame. Likely that heads lower as well. Lightspeed crew, which does have a buy the D point pattern, it's got a three river morning star. Uh, it's trading into that swing point. That's the swing point from the trading session of December 7th. And a close below that, 68.80. Well, then we're headed lower to 67.95 being the first price target. Natural gas is going to form a TD9 count bottom today. It'll complete that pattern tomorrow. That should bounce up towards the SAS center and change line. We don't have that printed here on this chart. The 30-year treasury just consolidated with inside his profile. Testing resistance this morning. That's up at the 120.10 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon.